the auto industry is on a path toward carbon neutrality. The Lexus RZ, the Japanese automaker's first all-electric SUV, represents a big step forward for Toyota's luxury brand. The Lexus RZ 450e may seem similar to the RX at first sight, but upon closer inspection, the RZ is more similar to its platform siblings. The Toyota BZ4X, which we have reviewed, make sure to check it out if you haven't done so, and Subaru Solterra. Sit tight and don't touch that dial as we get up close and personal with the luxury electric SUV 2023 Lexus RZ. Let's get started and talk about the car's design. The Lexus RZ 450e will have a design concept known as seamless e-motion. The electric SUV has a new version of the brand's signature spindle grille and a redesigned spindle grille with moving shutters. The new adaption is known as the BEV spindle body. The flaps open to direct airflow to the batteries and shut to minimise drag and enhance aerodynamics. Previous variants of the spindle grille were flashy and blingy. The new grille design is quite simple and pleasing to the eye and a wide horizontal air intake at the bottom keeps the battery cool. Unlike other Lexus cars, this grille doesn't have much chrome splashing, making it look more elegant. A complicated design pattern may be noticed from the side profile. On the Lexus RZ, flush fit pop-out door handles have been replaced with pull-type door handles, and camera-based ORVMs have been replaced with regular ORVMs. The accentuated wheel arches flow into a character line that terminates beneath the rear window. The cuts and folds give the RZ450E the appearance of being carved with a Japanese samurai knife. It's sharp and seems like an arrow from the side profile in classic Lexus design. There's a full width LED bar at the back with Lexus lettering in the center. The EV has a rear windshield that is steeply sloped, a shark fin antenna and horizontal reflectors in the bumper. Despite being a high-riding SUV, the RZ is more aerodynamic than standard two-box SUVs with little to no aerodynamic features. The Lexus RZ has a rear spoiler with a ducktail design that minimizes drag and increases downforce. Lexus has also flattened the underbody to allow for smooth airflow from underneath the EV, which will assist to reduce wind resistance and increase total range. Let's get into the interior and see what the SUV offers. In the inside, it's notable that suede covers the door trims and seats, while the top wood grain console provides omatenashi, which translates to anticipatory hospitality and spaciousness. The ultra suede on the chairs comprises 30% bio-based and sustainable materials. The interior has more traditional Japanese influences. The cockpit is based on the Tazuna idea, representing the reins used by riders to control horses. Lexus seems to have utilised high quality materials throughout the interior to give its first ever electric car a truly upscale vibe. On the dash, you'll get a 14 inch HD touchscreen infotainment system that isn't entirely new with actual physical buttons. The rotary drive selector is in the centre console while temperature control knobs are located under the touchscreen. The centre console also houses the traction control, e-parking brake and auto hold controls. The primary screen and the controls underneath it are angled towards the driver, giving the impression that the setup is driver-centric. The RZ450e is not only Lexus's first model, but also the world's first to combine a steering yoke known as One Motion Grip with steering by wire technology. The RZ450e's most futuristic piece of technology, both cosmetically and functionally. One Motion Grip, unlike Tesla's steering yoke, lacks a mechanical connection and a standard steering column. The electrical link transfers inputs between the steering and the wheels. With the steer-by-wire technology, Lexus claims that drivers will notice less swaying over bumpy roads and more steady control and correction in strong crosswinds. According to the company, straight-line performance on angled terrain will be outstanding. Furthermore, the driver has a clearer view of the instrument cluster and the road ahead. The low steering angle of 150 degrees should make city driving a breeze. Hand over hand turns are unnecessary. With the one motion grip yoke and steer by wire system, the steering ratio of the Lexus RZ450e is pretty high at low speeds. Furthermore, steering by wire eliminates unwanted input from the tires and brakes, resulting in a more pleasant driving experience. 
On the other hand, the One Motion Grip Yoke with Steer by Wire technology will be optional. Customers will have the option of choosing what they would like their interiors to be like. This will be between Thunderstorm, Palomino and Dapple Grey Black. Lexus has also made several changes to the RZ. There is also the world's first shadowing lighting, which alters the hue of the light reflected onto the door trim ornament during entry and exit. The new radiant heater, a Lexus first, warms passengers' knees while operating the air conditioning without draining the battery. The radiant heat vents are located under the bottom of the steering column and beneath the bottom of the passenger instrument panel. Lexus claims that the RZ450E has excellent NVH levels. Acoustic glass was employed and the hood vents were sealed to avoid turbulent airflow. Furthermore, Lexus has prioritised driving sensations, engineering artificial sounds into the cockpit, which intensifies when the driver floors the pedal. Expect the Lexus to generate fascinating sounds that are distinct from other EVs. Finally, the electric SUV has a luxurious two-part panoramic sunroof that lets in natural light and makes the interior airy and spacious. You can expect the Lexus to have a better interior overall and a longer list of standard features than its Toyota and Subaru siblings. Moving on, let's now turn our attention to the safety features. Lexus Safety Systems Plus 3.0 which provides sophisticated driver assistance functions, is standard on the Lexus RZ450e. The ADAS package comes with Adaptive Cruise Control ACC, Lane Departure Alert LDA, Pre-Collision System PCS, and Emergency Driving Stop System EDSS, as standard features. The Dynamic Radar Cruise Control detects the speed of the cars ahead. The DRCC keeps a safe distance from the driver while the PCS watches the driver's actions and lets them know if they're getting tired or distracted. On the other hand, the LDA collaborates with the PCS to identify driver fatigue and uses steering inputs to keep the RZ in the lane if it swerves near the lane markers. The EDSS and Lane Trace Assist LTA, work together to assess whether or not the driver can continue driving. If it detects an emergency, the car will slow down in its lane until it comes to a full stop while flashing its lights to notify surrounding drivers. Finally, the Lexus RZ has remote parallel park assist, which will be handy for new drivers. The RZ will be the first Lexus car to be built using Toyota Motor Corporation's Electric Toyota New Global Architecture, ETNGA. ETNGA, like most other BEV-specific platforms, permits battery modules to be installed between the axles, allowing for a lower centre of gravity and superior handling characteristics. The body shell of the RZ has been reinforced by bracing the radiator region and adding a V-shaped brace to resist lateral stresses during cornering. The RZ should offer a decent range and enough power as a luxury SUV. Let's now look at the car's battery and motor. Before we continue, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. The Lexus RZ450e will be available in the United States with a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery that Lexus says will provide up to 225 miles of range. Furthermore, the front and rear axles combine the motor, transaxle and investor in a compact package to increase range and interior space. The Lexus RZ will be the brand's first model using its revolutionary direct four all-wheel drive technology, managing the four wheels independently. Using the rapid responsiveness of the electric motors, the innovative torque distribution technology manages the EV's four wheels to deliver the ideal drive system for the current driving scenario. The RZ450e has a more powerful front motor than Toyota's BZ4X all-wheel drive which has 107 horsepower engines on both ends. The Lexus front motor produces 150 kilowatts, 201 horsepower, while the rear motor produces 80 kilowatts, 107 horsepower. The total power output is 312 horsepower. Lexus hasn't specified torque estimates, but we expect the electric SUV to have roughly 300 pound foot of torque. Lexus expects the zero to 60 mile per hour acceleration time to be 5.2 seconds. Furthermore, regenerative braking improves the Lexus driving signature, the brand's phrase for the driving experience provided by its vehicles. 
a new pressurization unit in the brake recuperation system provides regulated braking and improves brake energy recuperation to increase driving range. Lastly, let's talk about when to expect and how much the RZ will be tagged. According to Lexus.com, the Lexus RZ450E will be available at US dealers beginning in early 2023. Expect the electric SUV to cost more than the Toyota BZ4X, now available in the United States with a front-wheel drive engine for prices ranging from US$42,000 to US$48,780. The RZ450E is expected to cost less than US$60,000. The RZ's look will make it seem perfect at home in a Lexus showroom, but its pure electric motor and steer-by-wire technology promise a whole new driving experience. It isn't the most thrilling debut in the crowded electric SUV class, with an estimated 0 to 60 mph sprint time of 5.2 seconds and an estimated range of 225 miles. However, for Lexus fans and EV fanatics, this is the start of an exciting new era, as Japan has finally entered the fray. What do you think of the RZ? Thanks a bunch for watching and stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the videos being displayed on your screen. Until the following video, peace, I am out.